You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in a shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me anyway, anyhow. You won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in, or are you not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasoni's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist, or not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought to go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist. I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? List to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower, from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower and drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker or a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh... Prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? Aye. But that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spy the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedroom. One in two, I'd say. To raise suspicions. Hmm. Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. There. See? Brew up a bit of that. 
Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favour. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. He can also use your fists. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakal. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt, Peter. Moldor for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almus. My plane turn us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. He got nabbed a few days back <laughs> by one Hans of Sidalis, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorites have line Gallo. A circus artist no better is the uh, <coughs> Just now performing with a troupe somewhere near Oxford. Specialities. <laughs> Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A half -wing. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felt monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked a gold-plated cop from the roof of the town all in Nolan. So, the old man. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Nova Grand Gate. Be careful. He's modest and sound, but apparently wicked dangerous. Alright, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. Shabbat shalom, 
Master Casimir, toss aside the torch, you guards! Ah! Piss off, then! Fuck off! You'll not tell me what to do! Wha what's going on here? In deep play, Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. Oh. When step like it, Cloudy Pale. What can- No, I- Post- Three- Get down. Now. What? Oh. I'm coming. I'm coming. So, uh, what is it you wanted? Want you to open a door, permanently, so it won't close again. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one, to be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now, now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? Out of the herbalist who lives near Oxenfurt. Go there and ask for yarrow extract. Learn all you need to know. Clear? As a Mahakaman Highland Street. See ya! Spreads disease. Defeat isn't a desertion. Uh, ooh. You'll choke to death on three pounds of Hey, anyone in there? Blood. Hmm. This does not look good. their head on this beam. Open cut. Bare feet. Fresh prints. Honor in the fatherland. with 
Not your lucky day. Sleeping with a fish. No two ways about it. Gotta find Eveline.
Let's return their coin to them. What would you return? We've spent it all. Every last cop. Well, you could. The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. The dove, mind if I... That to... Geralt, only... Calm down. Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Eveline, I beg you. You don't know him. What's that supposed to mean? He introduced himself. Did you not hear? Geralt of Rivia. Stop pretending you don't understand me. You cannot know if he's to be trusted. Not a soul can be trusted. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. All right, out with it. What's this problem? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we're not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. And I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Eveline, I'm not certain that's a good idea. Neither am I. It shall all come out in the wash. So, Witcher, what'll it be? Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Mean now? No rehearsals? What's that to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. Hit it square on. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia. Victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. What? But I... Shh! Geralt! Grab your crossbow and get to work! What's the point? Shoot! Audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher.
Welcome, welcome. My card. Do you? Like. Ah. Uh. Feels like you might have missed your calling. Oh, curious conclude. If Welcome. Well, uh, do you like Should be. If ever you need a...
What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Lance Corporal Vatslav. How that pr volunteered. Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. He mad or what? That's just it. Si that's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass the tests apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army. Thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. Don't rile me, Kramps. to take any interest in the Basordis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm. Nothing interesting. Up of the day. That true? Who told you? No one. Came through the western gate the morning. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook like that's a right treasure he is. Cook like that's a right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just the gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah, uh, aye. If only he'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. Is that? Want us to plow you? Piss off before I kick your asses. We'll see who kicks whose ass. Get him, lads! Pound his gob! That's it, you're up for it! Yeah! Fucking come on! Uh. Told I'd have managed on my own, but thank you. Walk you home? Hey now, I'm grateful, sure, but I'll not demonstrate that in the alcove. Walk you home, that's it. Hmm, in that case, yes. Come. Sometimes for free, usually for pay. Phew! I was afraid you were... abnormal. Here it is. Really, you needn't have troubled yourself. 
Might be right, but these days, better safe than sorry. Take care of yourself. You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. Must be the cook. Good day, fish biting. Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison, on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Asking a lot. Too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye. I'll help. Out of kindness. Wait for the signal. And mum's the word. Understood? So long.
of order at last! Long live Radovid! Hail the mage hunters! Behave, Witcher. Just look at the freak. Mages. They're non-humans. Ah, oh, hello. Got a minute? For you, my friend, always. You gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley. Poor son senior himself. You're right. I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist. But deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel. But the rosemary went to me. And I plan to turn it into the most elegant venue in town. A den of art and culture. How do you and Priscilla meet? Huh. It was at the court of Duke Harriman, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in a fight. Who won? Well, I don't remember. I bet. You probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she'd caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. And did you? <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? One you promised to show your butterfly collection to. Ah, yes. Now I remember. Butterfly collection? You of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive, average run-of-the-mill girl. But give her a smile, notice her shoes, let her chat about them a bit, and she'd turn into a wellspring of passion. See you, Dandelion. I'm in a rut. I've such a hard... And mighty miss be midst the unattached. I am. The only for a wee spell now. Is that so? Impossible. Only a fool would loosen their hold on a mate like you. Ah, at last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. 
Or so these auction house, its vault. That's our target. Have a line you enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, is that enough? It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blade. Then, downstairs to the vault. Casimir blows the vault door. We go in, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Hmm. All good and fine, except... What if something goes wrong? Seriously, you're on your own. We all are. Just like that. No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures. Traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. And the vault? Is it secured somehow? Even if it is, my blend of saltpeter, cordite and fulminating silver will do the trick. Anything else? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm -hmm. Great. Aye, but you could. Find that location. I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about masks? Got a rather recognizable mug myself. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the City Watch. Blabber anything about this open name. I'll kill you. With the old hands. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way then. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Evelyn, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. City foul, shite all over again. What? Not so. Patrol's turning round. We've one minute. Move!
bugger it all, you said there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Gotta agree. Backing out's not an option anymore. Need to see this through, whatever happens. Hallowed words. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. Letters must be old. String seems to say so too. It was true love. Here for now. Knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I would gladly take with me. Not now. The vault. That's our target. Is that clear? Yes, but we shall raise the starting pro- Watch this! Guards! Guards! Well, that's that. We're buggered. You said- I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. Get off! 
to flee! Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold! What are you... Buyers... We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that! You can't- Just come! I repeat- So tell me a joke. Any joke. So long as it's funny. Excuse me? This is no- Got a tip for you. No charge. Every tip after this will cost you. In the blood of an innocent. When talking to someone who's holding hostages, Never use the words no, not, but, or maybe. Understand, Reginald? My name's not Reg. <laughs> huh. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. The Elven Sage decided to erode the King of the Hunt's support in his own realm. With Geralt in tow, he ventured through other worlds to the city of Tirmalia. There they found Aradin's Viceroy, Gels. Gels had been a loyal subject of the Alder Folk's previous king. When he learned Aradin was a regicide, he agreed to help defeat the usurper.
letters must be old. String seems to say so too. It was true love. Ah!
clear for now. On wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. Not now. The vault. That's our target. Is that clear? Yes. Well, I'd... Love you.
Stop him! He's not to flee! But we do have... Mercy, Master! On the chop! Ah! Come... Hold! What are you... Buy us a bit... We have one demand. Pulp. You know what? You can't... Just calm me. I repeat. So we want a wagon. And horses. It's the middle of the night. Where am I to find a wagon? Rather go looking for caskets? <laughs> he means it! Good point. A wagon, then. What kind? We're not picky. Any old cart, long as it has wheels that roll. All right, I'll get it done. In exchange, you must release the hostages. How many? All of them. triggered that fight. Could have done without her. That explosion kept us in the vault. Where's Evelyn? She's fled. All the better. Fewer hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive.
A mighty fine whoop that was. A wee bit loud, aye, on account I had to add more fulminating silver than usual, but... Uh... I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. Same paintings were on the block. Same paintings were on the block, including this fine piece by Van der Nob, the master from Maribor. Same paintings were on the block, including this fine piece by Van der Nob, the master from Maribor. Same paintings were on the block, including this fine piece by Van der Nob, the master from Maribor. You don't know who you're fucking with! On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah, you old? Greetings, brother. Been years. Stone me stupid and slap me happy! Should have known. Same eyes, same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. But it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Hmm. No takers, no sale. Oh, we'll take whatever we please. Once we've ripped your runners from your ass! Hallowed words, mate. Adam! Oh, 
I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you. Mercy. For your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. All that you own. Then walk out as you stand. Just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing, any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Bent. Like a beast. And you've the cheek to plead. Take that! Satisfied? Exceptionally! You? No, and I won't be until I find Max Bersotti's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsoldi, long missing, will assume the family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated? I'll have... Jen? Don't pro- You're wounded. I could drop you easily, but maybe I don't have to. We could try to figure this out. A compromise looks unlikely. We both want Max's house. Not quite. You just need the contents. Me, the box. The downstairs! So be it. Seal it with a handshake. Oof! That's a load off my prick! Give me the damn casket, and let's get out of here. As you wish. This way.
What now, Wolf? Well, here's where our paths part. Shut up. Was I that bad? No, but you came awfully close, Yuld. Survived by a hair. Take care, Casimir. Here's hoping Euphemia sees the light, comes back. Oh, Plyrad moods and ayers. With the gold I've got, love just ain't nothing I need. <laughs> In that case, you and your coin purse live happily ever after.
Greetings again. Greetings again. So long. Greetings. You're at oh. How much for a herring? Crown a piece. Huh? I'll wait for it to drop. Empty herring barrel. Stinks of fish. Hmm. Need to chat. I'm all ears, Witcher. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. All right, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. The papers, where are they? Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. You're a quick study. Already as tricky as Odin himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? Dunno. Ask for legal advice? Looks to me like you might need some. You signed the contract, Olgird. I'm just fulfilling its terms, to the letter. Unhappy? Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes, I should have. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Made a deal with his brother, 
Then beat the living shit out of Horst with the gold candle holder. Huh. <laughs> it's progress. Horst's brother. Did you know about him? I should think so. Ewald was famous in certain circles. Which ones? The kind noble witches don't usually associate with. He murdered for coin, no questions. Without batting an eye. Always extravagantly, though. If not for his damn surname, I believe I'd have invited him to join the company. Why did you even need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellate. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Marius Hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aim to deliver those papers to the right hands. Borsodi would have landed in the streets. The hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt in his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. I brawled. Then had another tanker. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Uh, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. this dallying. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. 
His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down. I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. Not about to drink with you. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you have. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dorpus. But one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt.
mighty rusty and covered in creepers need another way in. Kendrick! Kendrick! You there? Not so loud. Ah! Oh, God, scared me off to- Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F f foglets? Oh, sweet mother my little why I ever come here? Kendrick fellow, who is he? I... We's partners. Sneak into derelict houses. With something valuable lying about. Mm hmm. So you're a thief. Thief steal from the living. W what's the arm taken from the dead? Kendrick went to open a door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... That? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. A grave here? rotted completely. Fresh manure. Ice cold, mountain stream cold. Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who. No violet rose here, maybe somewhere out back.
I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. Prints from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. Someone dragged a wounded man through here. new. Bucket's been repaired. Gardener's hut. Could it be? Tools are so organized it's scary. Unmarked, laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? Another thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you?
fuck was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. No. Clear. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the Caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away? Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick? Yes. We know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgird gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. flowers. Thieves tried to lower the statue with ropes, but something scared them off.
Everything is clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table.
as I've never known him. A different man then. Families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Hmm. Fire damage. Interesting.
Iris was supposed to be here. be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her, for all time. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies? <sighs> Surprised. No, not at all. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day I was locked the front door, lay down here and died from grief from loneliness. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. Sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. Iris will never wreck adored flowers, but she would never want to destroy them. Take the grave somewhere else.
This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? See how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. Can't say much about Iris von Everek, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death, it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and... You... Sure. You're... Yeah. This is... You... He's... Spectres of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete, blurred. You must peer closely and restore it.
tableware for an afternoon tea or breakfast. Painting palette. Perfect match. for a special occasion. Another memory.
not right. Search for a way to restore it. Complete it. Wine cup. Just like the one Olgeard's holding. Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but... I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My night... You've seen to everything. Coming. A wraith? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized, one you must now face.
Another dream of the past. Bet this one's incomplete too. A lavish feast. Trying to impress the guests. Silver thread. Pearls. It all must have cost a fortune. shape in the real world. Just a little different than the painting. were lit in the painting, but that's not all. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except... Why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Olgi. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? So let's follow him.
towel. Didn't wash it all off. Got some on the towel. A nightshirt. Never worn, I think. What time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxen first, Sue. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. missing something. just like the painting. Gotta look just like the painting. Fits, I think. Hmm. This goes here. side. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. 
No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Olgird. Olgird! Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. These wax candles. this through.
What about this? Uh, not even a fizzle. Let's try this. Nothing. Maybe this? Nope. Botched it, I guess. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! started smoking. Drained to the last drop. Probably not right. Probably not 
Right. Probably not right. scars on his shoulders that winter. Probably not right. Probably not right. A beer tankard, but there was vodka in it. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Not right.
Your father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here. Forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Father! Father! No! Servants, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. You do the rest. something wrong. There we go. Single place setting. No others on the table. This was yours. Probably not right.
perfect match. Do you actually eat from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgeir. I want you out of my sight. Olgir von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Dearest wife, letters from Old Gear to Iris, were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy forehead grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Gear.
as the There's a boulder on the roadside. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before. But you weren't yourself, and I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband's got a powerful enemy, Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him? His last gift? Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real. And I... 
My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. That are what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer, but I fear there will be cold and darkness until... There is nothing at all. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Orgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell.
Solar, Richard. Two pints, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. Get on, and shut of and So, you indi- Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all geared. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Ilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my suit? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You tossed this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple, got it? Aye, got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic, she were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. Good food. My Did you stands see? on three Brother pillars. Literally Good food. Dead. He was Good there, food. alive, a moment ago. Good food. <laughs> Fainted? He's soaked in blood! Witcher in the ass. No wonder folk are dropping. Cursed and exed. <laughs> that milf guardian emperor can kiss my ass.
Shani. Oh, Geralt. Good thing you're here. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? when where to? <sighs> not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin Bound. Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to, either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn them down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could've. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. I understand. Any chance we'll see each other again? Someday, I'm sure. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Pramathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor. Where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. He's, if he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Hmm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend, get inside free and easy. So how are things at the Academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. What do you want, Geralt? Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the Academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. But alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. 
How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Agree. All right. story, but we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. It was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Oh! <laughs> 
know who you're fucking with! Ha! Watch his whirling! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait?
Silver Lamen. Don't know the sigil. Hasn't been used in ages, looks like. Boku's lesser key. Tomes about demons, dusty as they come. Shattered mirror, no sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. Someone look in it and scream? Pan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eating today. Professor Shakeslock. Who the blazes? How do you get in? Get out! I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. What demon? Feigned ignorance! <laughs> Please, you know. Gaunter Old Dim. Evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a mutant! <laughs> yeah. Could be. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I am one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant, but not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends, but that's beyond my control. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm, a witcher. Then it follows I need and fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter O'Dim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analyzed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims. He thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts, which drive their parties to madness. 
What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. He paid me a visit once. Fascinating. I was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. Know anything else about the man? Gaunter Odim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. Olgierd signed one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know, his fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgierd wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odim. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Odim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgird chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris, his fortune restored. So did Olgird kill his own brother? No, oh no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgird merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Olgird tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It's worse. Many illnesses are treatable. The play with evil, medicine can be much harder to find. Why was all geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he'd loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference. You die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Odim at his own game. Meaning? Odim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree. And can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. The sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. Odim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tones. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That, I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Thanks. Helped me a lot. 
good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasant itself.
Show me what you got on offer. Show me.
Farewell.
Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. Wasn't me who chose it. I assumed so. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the Rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt Market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? Decided she'd treat you like you once treated her. The rose is a symbol of your parting, and a punishment. I suppose I deserve that. Iris. What a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What? What's happening? I feel as though... As though... The hot irons pierced my chest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone's pleased. How do you feel, Von Emmerich? A little less troubled? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you... You fan... It is done. Oh! Your soul belongs to me. At last, it's over. We must meet again one day. Business with you is pure pleasure. Gonna remove the brand? Ah, right away. Done. Now, tell me what reward you've chosen. Wanna be fast. So fast no one will ever catch me. Hmm. Interesting wish. I think I've just a thing. Take this. Place it on your steed and ride swift as the wind. What now? Off to find another poor fool? Haven't decided yet. But I do know if I ever have trouble collecting a debt, I shall turn to a witcher.
Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. The Elven Sage decided to erode the King of the Hunt's support in his own realm. With Geralt in tow, he ventured through other worlds to the city of Tirnaliyah. There they found Aradin's viceroy, Gels. Gels had been a loyal subject of the Alder Folk's previous king. When he learned Aradin was a regicide, he agreed to help defeat the usurper. Strange choice of Loka. You're an art lover. Thought you'd appreciate the place. A witcher with aesthetic sensibility. Forgive my disbelief. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt Mark. Look, got it. What? Iris was tired of living half alive, half dead. Thinks she just wanted it to end. Can't blame her. I condemned her to terrible suffering. Iris. What a mess. What? Ah. So, what do you... What do you... What do you... You... And... Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all Geert's. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. Seen me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. <sighs> What's happening? You wish to play. So let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it. And if... <laughs> the ri To all... Thought... Chill... Cry... What... what y You're go... You must find... Ready? What is this place? <laughs> you like it? Plenty more where it came from. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out.
monsters weren't part of the deal. My world, my rules. Cry and I weep, yawn and I... Huh. Echo. No doubt. Children delight in me, elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin, cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep. Smile, and I too shall grin. Damn it, what are you? Is this place? <laughs> you like it? Plenty more where it came from. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out.
No doubt. Children delight in me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I too shall grin. Damn it, what are you? What is this place? <laughs> you like it? Plenty more where it came from. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. weren't part of the deal. My world. Cry and I weep. Heck, mm. no doubt. Children delight in me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I too shall grin. Damn it, what are you?
is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they see one for the taking? Through howling winds, pouring rain, with their life hanging by a thread. Which reminds me, time is running out. Rejoice and spin. Children and young folk like swings could be scary to, uh, to all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Mm. Oh, what could that awful! Be? You're doing terribly. Come on! And remember, you can always give up. As I see it. You will never find me. Never. So, any better? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. You know what, though? It's good at last to taste something real. <sighs> so, have at it. Tell me what the blaze has just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign? First off, you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone. <sighs> it's wonderful, at the start. You feel no fear, no angst, but also no concern, no care for anyone. Not even those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. What about your senses? 
taste, smell. All there. At first, I savoured the world like never before. It was stronger, more clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand and have my fortune restored. And then to live like there was no tomorrow. And thus I lived until... Until I ceased to feel anything at all. What a joy to be done with it. Because I am done, right? Will you tell me what happened? Odim decided to have some fun at my expense. Devised a game I was supposed to lose. Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through. In doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so, I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. Uh, well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything. Everything I loved. All I held dear. Not true. Got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I have a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness and defeat. My life is a ruin. You've handled tougher situations. You'll figure this one out. Got a company of faithful comrades waiting. Got a home, your fortune. No. I cannot live as I did before. So what'll you do? I don't know. But one thing's clear. It's time I took fate into my own hands. Lived life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. Can't accept this. You can, and must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Ow! Sorry. You needn't be. I thank you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too.
Watch your step. Everyone to me! To me! Everyone to me! To me! Aye. Different one. What you will. Watch your step. Anyone. Taking a beak at my way.
is howling. We can go at it here, or at my base. I 
I'd give you a discount for heroic deeds, but the madam, well, you know. Buy you a drink? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea of Ceres? Ceres. As I thought. I'm glad you went with her. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philippa. Triss and I found her and freed her. It turned out Dijkstra had her, but the situation's under control. That's a relief. So, gonna tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenford. I also learned the identity of the man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. Talk to Triss. Reconvening the Lodge? It's not going so well. Dangerous times, especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out, and I can't blame them. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derhard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Abbe Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! <sighs> Best run and get him. You need me to grab another last to join us. There must be order. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Damn it, scaled the ladder. Guess I'm in for a roof walk. Take off the kid gloves, Geralt. Help! Stop screaming, or I'll harm you. Thought you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? No. Not really, no. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me? No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, oh, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Case. It's unwise to linger in the street. Ho, ho, ho!
Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. <laughs> Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll, they'll lock you up lickety-split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs. Rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they'd do to folk. Torture every day. The wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? No, not officially, but you know how it is. They say no one gets out of Dayrod alive. Aye, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they'd learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. So you played dead. No one caught on? As a youth, I'd apprenticed with an apothecary in Silverton. Learned a thing or two about herbs. Sleeping mushrooms grew on the walls of my cell. And I found Belladonna in the prison yard. Just had to mash them together and eat the pulp an hour before evening rounds. You might have lost your life. I prefer to die on my own terms were that to be my fate. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I've a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. We can find a way into the ruins. We'll get into the prison. so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. Something unusual. <laughs> You're a vulgar one. I can see it in your face. Hey, Jack. You're the only. They're holding Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakaman as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. They'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mages left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf lingered around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Nice to...
another drifter in from Tamir. Oh, what's the rush? on three pounds of steel. Dania.